Uh, hey, welcome to a, another game analysis of a 90-30 from the Marshall. Uh, today's game is actually not going to be my own. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the last video. Uh, but today's game is actually from the Marshall Amateur Championship 2023, taking place over Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, in the beginning of December. Uh, today's game is going to be highlighted from uh, our good friend at Bushwick Chess, uh, Joseph O, uh, also known as Jester. Uh, we Jester has played uh, just this one game today. Uh, I haven't actually gone through this analysis, so uh, Jester is also a higher rated player than I am, so this is actually going to be kind of like a catch-up game. Uh, I'm going to go through it once, just from a human perspective, and then I'm going to go through it again with the computer just to see if there's, like, stuff that we missed. Uh, but this will be fun. I, I'm excited to, like, take a chance to, like, look through uh, this game that, like, it, it, I, I need to learn, like, at what level these other types of games can be played at. So it'll be really nice. Uh, so Jester said uh, he was playing against a younger girl, uh, I, I don't have her name, um, but but we, we get an E4, E5, uh, and then we're going into uh, obviously some uh, standard stuff. We start with an Italian. Um, it looks like, uh, let's see, it looks like we're definitely getting into a, uh, uh, the, st the, standard, the standard lines. I always want to say Gucci. It's not Gucci though. It's like... Uh, I can't remember how to say it, but it, I'm going to keep calling it a Gucci piano because I just think that that's really fun. Um, and anybody, anybody want to, you know, disagree, you know, it's, it's okay. I understand. Um, so we get castles, we get knight f6, and dang, I really think I want to put on evil bar. Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We're going to see from the, from the, from the line, like, uh, what I can remember from standard theory. And I feel like, yeah, this is all very standard stuff. Yeah, with the C3 here, this approach is pretty much like the go-to. Uh, yeah, the master's database says uh, this is, funny enough, has only been played 138 times within the master's database if you play D6, which is what gets played. Um, now, the top move in the database uh, by 45% uh, is rook to E1. Uh, this is, looks like the first deviation from uh, Masters games. Uh, it, well, it's, it's not a deviation. It's just the second uh, best move. Uh, and it's knight bd2. Uh, castles is the number one move by a pretty heavy margin of 65%. Um, and we get rook to e1. So it's really just a move order thing, I guess. Uh, and uh, bishop g4. And we are officially in new territory. So bishop g4 is not remotely on the list for moves that can get played here. So uh, at this point, I'd like to use the engine. Uh, it, yeah, it looks like it looks like uh, from here, the 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 computer doesn't really think that anybody's like you know dead yet, but uh, uh, it really does want h3. Um, just ki simply kicking that bishop, uh, maybe even dreaming up some world in which case you go g4. I did win uh, Gucci Piano the other day, or like uh, last month, uh, against in the it was in the like u1200. So uh, I'm not expecting that it's like uh, gonna happen in every game, but sometimes sometimes it's worth it to 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 push that uh that that second pawn uh, to re either a really kick out the bishop or even sometimes trap it. Uh, the king safety can can be wavered or waived uh, once in a while in those scenarios. Uh, so we get a uh, knight to f1, which I feel like I see a lot in a lot of these lines. Uh, rook to e8, um, and now h3. Uh, bishop h5 uh, allows the yeah the, allows the tempo move for the knight. Uh, so I see why you don't really want to get it done as much. Uh, bishop to g6, obviously, only move, and all right, Jester, Jester is playing, Jester is playing pretty much the moves that I would, uh, I would assume I would play in, 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 in at least, uh, the one game that I've played OTB, uh, Italian, uh, and it's, yeah, Bishop e4. Now, annoyingly, 
this is the thing I don't ever know. Uh, annoyingly, this is right, and in my game I was wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it's sometimes it's right. Sometimes it's wrong. Uh, bishop e6. Yeah, only move again. These are these are pretty simple. Uh, I don't want to like go too slow, but I do want to give enough time for every move to kind of conceptualize why we're doing what we're doing. So it's white. Uh, in a lot of these lines, you are absolutely considering you are launching every pawn on this side. Uh, you usually, I think, you end up like locking the structure in a very uh, uh, imbalanced way. Uh, and then you try to like find ways to like get out breaks. Uh, uh, I, I'm an intermediate level player, so uh, it, it's a whole thing. Uh, sneaky a4 is, yeah, sneaky a4 is absolutely the top computer move. Uh, we get a5 and then the push, <clears throat> which, which is b5. Uh, taking a lot of space in the center, or uh, not the center, uh, on the queen side. Um, which is always nice. Uh, queen e, or knight e7, uh, you don't want to lose your knight right away. Uh, and then we get uh, bishop e3. Now the computer really likes bishop a3, uh, just sort of aiming down the sights, probably at this pawn here. If this, if this pawn ever got weak, you would have a nice target here. Uh, and also, I suppose that the reason why they don't love this is that you're allowing black to trade off their bad bishop. Yeah, exactly. The computer really wants to take uh, in which case black uh, obliges. Yeah, I think that, I I don't know, first off, I don't know if I'm ever playing the Italian against like people uh, like this strong. Uh, I feel like they're gonna know a lot more than I do. So I feel like I'm, I don't know if I'm really going to wanna play into it. I think I would play into like other lines just to avoid their, their safety spaces. Uh, but yeah, I, I can see why you don't want to do this uh, just because you you give you give back like the one the one weakness that black had was this this bad black bishop and now they don't have to worry about it. So that but that's okay. Uh, we get c6. Oh, what's up? What if we kissed? It is sick. It's only sick because we're a team. Uh, so it's so uh, uh responds. Uh, not quite computer accurately, uh, which is, I, I assume, totally fine. We get instead uh, attacking the bishop, going for bishop uh, and knight versus knights. Um, and we get d5. d5 is the response that was required by the computer to make it dangerous. Uh, and bishop a2 is the response we could have taken and then uh, go from there. Let's see, I suppose in this line you would take, take, and then back up. And then you've got to deal with this versus this. Um, but that's, you know, that's, that's, that's its own thing. I, I don't want to go too, too far into sidelines. Because uh, I, 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 I don't really know this that well anyway. But oh my goodness, wow. Uh, I, okay. I want to not look, I don't want to look at the rest of the game yet. Let's like, let's like conceptualize really quick why the computer hates this for black <clears throat> so in this line uh you're basically you're agreeing that once takes and takes happens i assume uh the rook comes to here and maybe maybe the idea is that there's going to be a lot of pressure down this side and then if takes and takes is there a well, now I gotta see it. Yeah, takes and takes. Oh, and you just get the bishop. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then the same idea is that the bishop and the rook eventually are gonna create a nice right triangle. Uh, okay, I see, I see. Um, but black or white instead goes uh, rook f3, uh, leaving, leaving the pawn off to the side, saying, go ahead, you can take it, it's a free pawn. Or is it? Uh, we do get takes, uh, and the top computer move here is, oh, no, oh, no, it's takes, yeah, it's takes because of pawn takes. Wait, wait. No, you can't take because of this here. Wait. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at it. We get takes, takes, 
A temporary sacrifice of three points of material, and it's winning for white. Because of takes, takes. Now, see, this is where I would have not agreed to the moves. But apparently, after knight to f5, rook protects, trying to give back the material. White does not oblige, and instead starts the attack immediately. Now, let's say what we do is here. You don't even, it doesn't even like this. It drops. Yeah, the, yeah, the idea is that you're scooping up all these pawns. And at the end of the day, you're not, you're, wait, your knight's not protect. Oh God, what? Ah! Everything falls. And at the end, you're up two pawns on the, in the center of the board, I guess. Uh, so that would be, that would be quite nice. This is a this is a this is one of those gross ones, but we get queen we get queen b three instead. Wait, hey, you know this is fine. I feel like this is fine. I wouldn't have done this. Queen, queen g four. What in in queen g four? Oh, in, in that line. Let's see. So is it rook takes here, here, here? Are we are we trying to get queen g four and then like pushing the pawn? Is that the idea? Uh, any, either way, th there's I can see why there's a lot of attack, but yeah, now it's zeros. Now it's zeros with the queen b three because you're you are v vaguely queen g four because f seven is pinned. Okay, so wait, let's go here, 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 and queen g four in this line. The king would then escape, and now you're, now you're, now you're, oh, gross. Oh, gross. Which, which is actually not so bad, because you are gaining, you are gaining a little bit back. But, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work, because the king ran all the way to the other side of the field. No, knight f5? No, knight f5. Okay. So, you want queen here i think it's the same situation is that the king is just going to start running yeah same 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 pattern recognition here is all of, all of the moves are going to be the same <coughs> just a different move order but yeah i mean yeah, yeah. To a human, I can, I can, I can, I can see why you would want to play this. Uh, but unfortunately, you've given you've given away material in this line. So I guess that's that's going to be the big issue. Um, but yeah, so queen b three, basically saying like at some point I'm going to try and take the bishop uh, and then threaten this mate here. Um, the issue is is that the king can then right away join. But instead, we don't get that. We get uh, a rook protect saying you can take my pieces but you can't take my game um in this line wait what oh i, I was like i thought i saw saw queen takes and i thought it was queen takes here and i was like there's no way that that's right but it's queen takes c3 so queen takes c3 queen d6 uh the advantage kind of going back and forth computer style uh from a human perspective, I can totally see that, like, you, you're leaving a lot of tension here on this side of the board. You've got a, not a passer, but you've got, you've got the potential to, like, upset all the, the, the stuff on this side. And sort of like the Kalashnikov that I had earlier, this, this pawn really protected. So it's not too big of a deal. Uh, we get takes, takes, and jumping in, attacking the queen, gaining tempo, and here... Yeah, the computer likes both of these moves, just getting the queen out of the way. And then, then you can take, and we get takes. Queen c8, and bringing the, oh. Whoa. Yeah, this is, uh, you want to bring it back? Because what, like, if you let this take happen, is there any, like, weird sneaky moves? I really, really love the idea that this, this bishop is gonna eventually do something nasty. I had to really like that I haven't looked at this game because it's cool that like, as we're playing, we're like, whoa, these are the interesting concepts. So we get C7, uh, Rook takes and yeah. Oh, okay, blocking with the Bishop, I like that. Uh, computer really wants the King to run to the side. 
I think that like in every single game that I ever see, the computer really wants the king to jump over here for Italians. Uh, on, for both kings. Like, both kings usually end up running to the side of the board at some point. Um, black trying to advance the uh, pawns, and white just preventing ever letting that happen, which is nice. Uh, now king h7, and queen b3. Uh, wow, we are only, like, we're only, from here, we're only 10 moves away from the end, but I don't know how we get there. Uh, we get queen d7. A huge mistake. Huge mistake. You relieve, uh, the eye on the pawn. The idea you should have gone for is to... Wait, what? Why does it want that? Because then you just take. Huh? Wait, what? What about... What? Oh my gosh, wow, yeah, you can't take because of this. Here, 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 and then you're out. It's even, but, wow, weird. I would have, I, I feel like, I, I don't know if I would have, but I I would consider taking this pawn at some point. Uh, but we get, we get the losing move, um, and yeah, so immediately snapping up the pawn uh we get rook c7 queen c3 dropping a little advantage uh computer really wants you to take here what this is why i hate chess i like why do i want to sacrifice this why am i sacrificing oh my god I hate, I hate chess. I, I guess if I was sitting in a 9030, I would have maybe thought about that. Removing, removing the defender of the night and, and snapping all the way over. But I don't know if I would think about that in most games. Instead, we get queen takes. I always feel like if you ever see someone snapping the pawns off on this side of the board, uh, when the action's over here, the game is totally over. Uh, and here it still wants you to sack material because if you go here, here, ooh. wait, okay, we gotta look at this. It still says takes, takes, you disgust me. Attacking through here. What? Oh my God, you can't, oh my God, what? This is so intense this is what a grandmaster would put. these are grandmaster game levels that we're looking at right here when we look at the engine uh but no we are we are no grandmasters here uh as much as i love jester and he's very strong he's like a 2200 online right now uh but we get we get instead uh oof queen to e1 which is almost losing the Pullman like attack here but that's that's the issue is like i don't know i i, I love these like kind of ideas i would not even see until i'm looking directly at the solution and sometimes i feel like if i'm looking at the solution it's still like wait why would you want to do that oh yeah because i guess in in like 15 moves there's this like flourish at the end that no one sees um but yeah looking at forcing moves i guess is always like a big deal uh oh what's up gosh yeah, queen c1 in this in this line or yeah queen c1 here or were you talking about like before with the other stuff yeah with the rook takes yeah yeah yeah. that 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 was that was that was really interesting i really liked conceptually how that like would come off from a human perspective uh especially especially if you could ever find the way to sack the rook to to lose the attack uh, to, to lose the protector for the h pawn very very interesting idea i like that uh yeah but so we do lose our advantage but not quite all the way yet uh we still have the bishop for the knights uh and then massive blunder because oh my god i'm gonna throw up i'm gonna throw up it's like the computer is just like please 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 sacrifice the knight but hey look 
we're not we're not always gonna we're not always gonna see what the computer wants us to see. Uh, we get Bishop uh, B three. Uh, queen jumps out. Uh, and then we get the sacrifice. And then we get the sacrifice, and it's beautiful. Because of... Wait. Because knight... Or b rook b7, queen takes a5. Now the king takes. Oh, God. Now the rook comes in, and the rooks are penning up, ready to go. At some point, the... the Oh yeah, this 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 uh, bishop is still looking in this direction. Like everything's starting to come to fruition here. Rook takes, queen takes, queen takes, and then these are some finishing moves if I've ever seen them. Whoa. Dead lost, dead lost, dead, or not dead lost, like dead even. Game is boring and dry from here. And yet, wait, I, the game ends here. The game ends with queen c7 check. Yeah, oh no, my advantage, yeah. Wait, queen c7 check, wait. What, what is what's the what's the issue here like what i don't even see how you could accidentally lose the game here like oh well actually that's how okay never mind i found it i found out how to lose i found out how to lose <laughs> okay wait so what's the other option here and why would Oh, because there are only two ways to go. So, King F6 must have been a blind spot. Yeah, just not realizing that you were able to advance up. Probably probably assuming that the only move is to go King H8. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because then, you, yeah, with King F6, you protect your pawn. And, yeah, and then you just, you just shuffle back and forth, yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> I like had a. I, I feel like I had like. If I would have. I don't know if I would have seen that on the board. I don't know if I would have seen that on the board, but. Whew, it makes me. It makes me feel like I, my mouth is like drooling and like I'm getting like goosebumps. Because I like. I'm just imagining. I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm dead winning. And then it just goes <laughs> perpetual. And you're like, no! If I was, I feel like that, that would be something that like Akash would do, you know, like someone, someone who's like, who's just like letting you play all your moves and is like, all right, okay, I see you, I see you, nope, and just like slides off to the side and there's no way to stop. That's that's crazy. But anyway, no, this is a a great game. Uh, so I guess I think that uh we don't have uh we don't have a uh, a game for our third uh marshall player um i i'm not playing in the amateur but uh we have uh we have a couple of people do so our second person is uh none other than uh uh nick marino uh uh and i'm actually gonna check well i guess it's 3 30 so i don't even know actually uh if Miguel's still in chat, I wonder if you can tell me if uh, if Marshall's uh, oh, because they never mind. Marshall's not broadcasting the amateurs. That's right. Oh, sorry. One second. Let me uh, let me see. Click to show. I needed. I need to have a talk with my nightbot. Nightbot is a uh, Nightbot is uh, not letting me. Uh, uh, not letting you guys uh, say what you want to say, which is frustrating. So I'm gonna let me check real quick. Uh, logs. 
Yeah, Nick and Joseph still playing. Yeah, yeah, no, you're you're totally fine. It's because the comp it's because like it's a bot that thinks. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna disable excess caps and we're gonna disable links. All right, so links and cat locks are now back allowed. Uh, so I'm gonna hit this link here, and we'll we'll pull it up on the on the page. All right, so everybody can see that. Yeah, so we have uh yeah the Marshall Amateur Championship is uh yeah it's the amateur is still going on around two uh i'm actually gonna oh there we go yeah joseph ortea Ote, Ortero is 1891 so that was the game we just looked at he's playing black right now uh against whoo a 21 100 oh my gosh roman malishev that is a uh, that is rough let's see where Let's see where Nick is. Oh, I just got pinged, I think. Uh, let's see. No, Nick's playing. Wait, where? Let's just do control F. Oh, uh, he's Nicholas. All right, here we go. Nick, Nick Marino. Uh, he's on board 22 right now. Playing against... Okay, he's having, luckily, an easier time. He's, a. Uh, oh, he had a draw last round. Okay, I thought he... Uh, I thought he was... Uh, I thought he, for some reason, he said... I thought he lost that one. So he drew last round. Uh, said uh, he was... His opponent's king was just right in the center and very very safe. Oh, sent the tournam tournament last year. Oh, no way. Okay, let me see. 